Hello. This video is a brief demonstration of how to use a mock server to control event generation during development or debugging of the topology view in the ONOS web UI. When the UI connects to an ONOS instance, a WebSocket is established to allow communication between the client side and server side UI code. Each side is free to send events to the other side as needed. For example, when the topology view is selected by the user, one of the first events it sends to the server is a topo start event, informing the server side that the client is ready to receive topology information. On receipt of a topo start event, the server sends back to the client a barrage of events describing the current topology add instance, add device, add link, add host, and so on, ending with a topo start done event. The topology view processes these incoming events caching a local model of the elements in the topology and then rendering them in the display. During development, we want much greater control of the influx of events to the client. For this purpose, we have written a simple mock server program. The mock server is written in JavaScript and invoked using node.js. A number of scenarios defining sequences of events are contained within subdirectories of an event directory, ev. When the mock server is started, it reads the contents of the EV directory and presents a list of the scenarios to the user. The user can load a specific scenario and then step through the events as needed. As you may have noticed, the server listens on port 8123 for a WebSocket connection from the client. Initially, we need to load the web UI into the browser from a running ONOS instance. Here we have ONOS running locally with the carafe log showing in the uppermost window. We start by connecting to ONOS as usual. At this point, the browser has loaded and cached the UI code. Now we need to redirect the UI to connect to the mock server instead. This is achieved by manually adding a query parameter to the URL, WS port equals 8123, and reloading the page. You may find this requires a second reload to take. As you can see, the UI has now connected to the mock server. Now we can instruct the server to send an initial set of events to the UI using the auto advance feature with the A command. In this case, our scenario has been configured to send the first 12 events in a batch. We can now step through the remaining events one at a time using the next event command. Here we are focused on demonstrating the show highlights event for badges on devices, followed by badges on hosts. Finally, we clear the highlights and the scenario is done. This was a very brief introduction to the mock server. Hopefully you found it useful. Thank you.